panel and this is the block panel now here the block diagram of the pid is uh, shown here the transfer function of mo uh, motor is inserted in the math script node and after this uh, after simulating this we get this uh, we get this uh, such type of graph in the front panel where the re uh, the red color uh, graph shows the estimated motor speed and the white color graph shows the set point the difference between a uh, set point and the estimated motor speed gives us the error and it minimizes according to time after that uh, uh, here is the input port and here is the output port the output port gets rotated according to the input port as my friend shardha told that the implementation of pid to implement this api api i should be uh, on the ceo uh, we have to uh, take the modules uh, accordingly Uh, here it is shown in the block panel. Uh, this is the uh, input module, and these two are the input module. This is the main block of PID which we are using for our project, and uh, this is the output module. Uh, and we have uh, done the uh, connections accordingly. So, uh, and here is the tick function uh, which uh, which counts the time required uh, to execute the loop. And uh, here is the serial module. Uh, it is uh, having Ethernet connectivity. Uh, the LED is blinking continuously means it is on. Ethernet connectivity is on. and uh, these are the modules uh, this is ni9221 means it is the input module and this is 9260 that is output module uh, here is numbering given on this and uh, here we are given the two inputs to the ni921 uh, of of which one is the uh, process variable uh, given from the input uh, it is uh, sorry it is a set point given from the input port and uh, this is the uh, process variable given from the uh, output port connected to the motor and uh, the output of uh, this error is given to the ni9263 uh, the code we have uh, burned into the serial it uh, shows from this window that is the compilation sub completely succe completed successfully it means the code has burned successfully in the serial kit <laughs> Here we have done in hardware. Uh, this is our input port. This is our output port. This is our uh, motor. 
there are two BC 547 transistors, uh, the two C R hundred, and there are four two N three zero five five power transistors. Now, in the there are four two N three zero five five power transistor. Uh, so, uh, in all, we have get uh, the current nearly about 700 milliampere to an ampere. So, we will see the demo. Output of the serial module is uh, b, uh, above 5 volt. Then our circuit 5 or fi minus 5. That is uh, in be in between 5 to minus 5, it is off. And when it is greater than 5 and less than minus 5, then according to positive or negative, our motor rotates in both the direction. Now we will see the input and output. We can see in multimeter. This is this one the yellow wire. Yellow wire is the set point, and this blue wire is the process variable. And uh, here it is the analog uh, input. Uh, the first two, uh, these are both eight are uh, our input, and the ninth one is our ground. In analog output module, the first one is output, and the next to first is our ground. It is the architecture inbuilt. So we will see our we will see voltages. Firstly, uh, we will see here the set point, which is given by yellow wire. Uh, now we can see uh, the set point given by yellow wire. It is coming as it is uh, nine, 8.95. It is the output of input motor, and uh, the process variable is given by this uh, motor. Firstly, we will check it. It is coming as we have set it to zero. Nearly zero. Nearly zero. It is 0 0.06. Now the output of analog output is 8.87. The difference of set point and process variable. It is 8.89. We can see. Now we will uh, switch on the power supply. supply. And we will firstly see that yeah. uh, when the difference is uh, above 5, 5 volt, then the motor starts turning. And when it becomes to 5 or below it, it stops. Now I will uh, switch on the power supply. Now we can see our motor. It Start. is rotating. It has stopped uh, here. The output is uh, 5.18. So it is stopped. Now here we have set our set point to 0 0.24 volt. And our process variable to uh, 9 volt. Now the output should come uh, negative. Here we can see that in analog output module, uh, I have taken reading from analog input. Now uh, uh, we will see now reading of analog output. It should come negative. As we can see that it is coming as negative minus 8.75. The difference of both. Now as the error is negative, the motor should uh, rotate in the opposite direction. Now we will switch on the power supply. Thus the motor, ro motor rotates in opposite direction. And, uh, uh, and now we can see the output. It's showing the 5.5. And as we have said earlier, it uh, stops below 5. In, in range of 5. 5 to 6. 